everybody, it's me Karen, and it's so good to see you all again. I'm going to read another story to you today, and I do really hope that last week's story helped you remember that God has everything in his almighty hands, and he is always with us. Well, Anyway, before I read you this week's Bible story, I want to show you something, something really special, because I've been given a present. Have a little look at this present. <gasps> what do you think could be in my present? Why don't you have a little think? Perhaps you can shout it out to me. It's quite small. It's got a lovely bow on it. It looks really exciting. Oh, but hang on a minute. There's a little note on the back. Let me read it out to you. It says, a very special gift for Karen, but do not open until Easter Day. Well, Easter Day is next Sunday. That means I've got to wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days till I can open my present. I don't know if I can wait seven days to open my present. Do you think you could wait a whole week to open a present that you were given? Do you think you could be really patient and wait? If you think you could do that, give me a nod. Oh, there seems like there's quite a few of you who could wait to open a present. Well, hopefully I can be a bit more like you and be patient and wait. Well, I'm going to pop this present over here so I'm not tempted to open it. And let's have a look at our story for today. Now, last week I talked about the Bible being full of stories about people who were facing tough times and huge challenges. Well, in our Bible story today, it's about Jesus and he faces a really, really huge challenge. Let's find out what it is. Right, here we go. Here are the pictures. So Jesus was with 5,000 people. That is a lot of people. That would be more people that could fill our church on a Sunday morning. Loads and loads of people. They'd all come to hear about Jesus and they'd all come to find out about what he had to say about God. Anyway, they had listened to him all day. And then Jesus's friends came up to him and said, we need to feed those people. They haven't had any food all day and they're looking and feeling very, very hungry. So Jesus said, we'll feed them. <laughs> well, Jesus's friend said, with what? We don't have any food. Jesus said, go and ask all the people and see if anybody has got some food to share. Well, that's what Jesus's friends did. And would you believe it, they found a little boy and he had a basket of food. And in his food, in the basket, there were five loaves of bread and two fishes. As Jesus said, this will do. But Jesus's friend said, that couldn't feed 5,000 people. That's not enough food. It would only feed three or two. Well, Jesus, he took the basket of food and he prayed to God. And the next minute, they started handing all the food out to all the people. And look what happened. There wasn't just one basket of bread and fish, but there were loads and loads of baskets of bread and fish. Jesus had made all this food for all the people. And when Jesus' friend had handed the food out to everybody, there was food left over. Wow! So Jesus managed to feed 5,000 people just using five bread rolls and two fish. Well, when I read the story, it reminded me that God has given us all we need. And we've got so much to be thankful for. I'm really thankful that somebody has given me a present. Now, some of you might know that today is actually Palm Sunday. 
And at Palm Sunday, we celebrate the time when Jesus rode on a donkey to Jerusalem. And people there were calling out Jesus and calling him king and waving the palm branches all around. We did that story in Little Church a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago, actually. And uh, this story helps us to remember that in seven days' time, we get to celebrate Easter. The day when Jesus died on the cross for all of us. The same day I get to open my present. So I wonder, what could I do while I wait for Easter and while I wait to open my present? Well, I think I could take some time to think about and remember pray to praise God for all he's given me. Just like in the story when he could give all that food to all those people. God blesses us in the tough times and in the good times. And for me, when I look around and I know everything is all a bit different and sometimes a little worrying, I can still see God in my life. And that's a really good thing to remember. Well, children, I've got a little video for you to watch now. And it's all about some little children that are outside in their garden collecting some yummy, scrummy food. Some lovely food that God's created in our world for us to eat. And also they have lots of fun looking at the flowers and all the trees and all the beautiful things that God's created. I want you to come back and tell me all the yummy scrummy food that those children were collecting and picking in the garden. Can you do that? Can you go over to YouTube and get your mummy and daddy to type in Little Worship Company Blessed be your name. And if you look down below on the little video, on the comments box, there's the um, internet page that you need to click on. And there you go. And I'll also, it will be in your email that I sent to your mummy and daddy. So have a little watch. Off you go. Great. So, what were the children collecting in the garden? Can you shout it out? That's right, we had apples. Yeah, there were courgettes, there were peppers, and did you see the big brown things were in the bottom of the ground? Potatoes, all those yummy foods that they were picking. And I really like that song because it reminds us about God being there in the good times and in the rough times. Let's pray before we finish. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for our wonderful world. Thank you that you give us what we need. Thank you that you bless us both through the good times and the rough times. Help us to look forward to Easter Day next week. Amen. Bye everybody. See you next time.